Africa is slowly but surely tearing into two. First, welcome to this channel and don't forget to subscribe for African news. Africa is slowly but surely tearing into two. Like anything in geology, it's an extremely long process that will take millions of years, but it will eventually see part of East Africa chip off from the rest of the continent, like, likely resulting into a new ocean arising between the two land masses. The colossal breakup is associated with the East Africa Rift System, EARS, one of the largest rift in the world that stretches downward for thousands of kilometers through several countries in Africa, including Ethiopia, Kenya, Democratic Republic of Congo, Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi, Zambia, Tanzania, Malawi, and Mozambique. This rift system means that the African plate is splitting into two plates, the smaller Somalian plates and the larger Nubian plates that are pulling away from each other at a super slugging snail pace of million per year uh, according to 2004 study. Back in 2008, news of cracking emerging in Kenya went viral with many claiming that this was evident of Africa snapping into two before our eyes. Imagine waking up one morning to find a massive crack running through your home. That's what happened to Elliot in Jaguna, forced to dismantle his house by hand before it was lost to the earth below. He lives in Mai Mahu, part of the Great Rift Valley in Kenya, a region that has already provided a treasure trove of some of the most important archaeological finds in history. And this latest discovery is so significant, scientists predict it will be the fault line along which history is made once again as Africa splits into two continents. While this starting scene was related to the EARS, it's a bit misleading to represent it as live evidence of African Great Split Up. As IFL Science reported at the time, this was likely just a highly localized expression uh, of the valley regular rifting activity. The EARS has been in this current process for around 25 million years ago and the crack in Kenya was an ind indirect whisper of what occurring on the continent. However, in another 5 million to 10 million years, change changes in EARS could result in a drastical different looking world. Around this timeline or time frame, we are likely to see a new ocean form between the Somalia plate and Nubian plate. The great continent of Africa will lose its, uh, its eastern shoulder and a vast sea will cut off East Africa. As strange as this may seem, it's worth remembering that Earth's surface is in a constant state of flux. It's just so slow that human experience can't account for it. The appearance of the world as we know is relatively new. The land and sea we see today of uh, Eurasia, the America, Africa, Atlantica and Oceania are the product of vast tectonic plates that are slot together like a jigsaw puzzle. Just think of the split up that the earth saw around 138 million years ago when South American and African divided. If you look at the west coast of Africa and the east coast of South America, you'll notice they fit together like two jigsaw pieces. Beautifully highlighting how this continent were once joined as one. The departure of East Africa will just be another page in this giant geological uh, storybook. Who knows whether humanity will be around to see any of these changes, but it doesn't look too hopeful. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe for more.